Sergio in Brazil writes to me, Hey Paul, I'm currently using a single JL Audio F113 V2 subwoofer. Don't you love the naming of this? It sounds like a jet airplane. The JL Audio F113 V2. Dang, sounds like that can go Mach 600. <laughs> Mach 3, however you say that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're no better, but that, that, that's cool. I love it. Uh, it's in the middle of his stereo system. In other words, I'm, I'm guessing that he's got left and right speakers, and in the middle, he's got his JL subwoofer. Okay. Um, but what happens if I use two subs? Will they be placed at both corners of the room, very close to the walls? Now, I, since I know it's not a good idea to place any speaker close to the walls, I would like your opinion if it's worth going to a dual sub setup, placing them close to the walls. Okay. Well, first off, in general, we don't like to see a subwoofer in the middle between the speakers. That is typically one of the worst places to put it. If you put it there because that was the best place sonically to put it, no problem. Every room is different. When I go over subwoofer placement in the audiophiles guide, which is the, the, uh, the in particular in the stereo, uh, that particular book, we go through this. Uh, and as I've said, I am in the in the middle. That's why I talk a lot about it because I'm. As soon as this is over, I go home and I start writing again, right? Because it just takes a long time to to write nine books. And the one I just recently finished called The Subwoofer, The Audiophile's Guide to the Subwoofer, I go through some extensive testing and how to set it up. And these are, this is not, you know, textbook stuff. This is simple, here, do this. And you probably know the trick that when you're sitting in your listening seat, you have your speakers out in front. And as you're listening, you're going to have standing waves, you're going to have all kinds of things, room modes, nodes, that will block some frequencies of bass, emphasize others. So in your seat as you're sitting, some bass notes are going to be very strong and some are going to be very weak. Some are non-existent, right? It's just peaks and valleys. So one of the things we can do is add a subwoofer. Where do you put that subwoofer? Well, you don't put it right where the speakers are because they're the ones in that position relative to your position that are causing the bunching up and the, 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 this irregular sound that's coming out of your, uh, your room for bass, right? So what you need to do is put the subwoofer somewhere else. And one of the tricks that we talk about, and I've mentioned it several times before, is Put a big X where your seat is once you've set these up. Use the audiophile's guide to set the speakers up, get them in the perfect position so they disappear, all that that we go through in the audiophile's guide. Okay. Now that you have that, make an X where your chair is, move your chair out of there, put your subwoofer in place of your chair, hook it up, and it looks kind of funky, but take you five minutes, and start playing music. Now, walk around the room and find the point where you have the best, smoothest bass response, the least number of nulls, the greatest reduction of peaks, and here the bass is pretty flat, and it's probably over here. It's probably back there. It's probably not between the two left and right speakers, almost surely not. And when you do that, whether it's a du dual sub, if you have them dual subs, you just walk over to the corner of the room to the side, find that spot, mark it, walk to the other side of the room, find that spot, mark it, put your dual subs there, and then when you sit down, the same thing, you'll have that great spot. That makes sense, okay? So yes, dual subs, absolutely agree, but use the proper technique that I just explained to you, or if you get a chance, pick up a copy of the Audiophiles Guide, and I'll, I'll walk you through how all that works and why it is and all that kind of good stuff. Okay? All right. We love bass. Bass. All right. Thanks. Bye.